So I'm following up my first taste of real selvage denim, uh, in particular uh, the uh, Gustin jeans that I tried on a few videos ago. Uh, I had them tailored because they were a little long for my inseam and uh, I wanted to see what they looked like with boots. G'day, welcome back to Bootlosophy, and if you're new here, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands and waters that I uh, live on and, and work in, uh, the Wajik people of Nungabuja. Now, a few weeks ago, I uh, got a pair of, uh, two pairs of Gustin jeans, and they were my first exposure to selvage denim. I really don't know much about denim, I have to admit, and you can go and watch my video up here to see what I initially thought of them as soon as I uh, uh, had them and tried them on. Uh, now, the thing with Gustin is that they are true to size in the waist measurement. I usually take a 32 inch of uh, jeans, but I really measure a 34 inch because I haven't been 32 for a long time. Um, but at 34, true to size, Gustin jeans tend to have a 36 inch inseam. Now, I'm a 31 inch inseam, so they were very long. I'm not a cuffing kind of guy, so I had them tailored. In my original video, a lot of people commented and said, well, did you actually try the jeans? No, I didn't try them on, on video because I knew they were far too long and even the cuffs would have been that big. But at any rate, I've had them tailored to uh, what I like. I'm actually wearing a pair now that I got the inseams down to 32 uh, because I wanted them to break uh, just above the top of my boots. They are a slim fit and therefore can take that, that break at the top of the, uh, uh, at the boot. But these are straight fits and I had them taken up to um, 34 inch inseam because I, I wanted them to wear them over long boots like cowboy boots or uh, roper boots uh, or engineer boots. And I also did want to try what I looked like cuffing them. So um, I'm glad you're here. Let's take a look and I'll show you the jeans. So this is showing you the fit of the first pair of Gustin jeans. This one they call the 1968 jean. Uh, it's a straight fit. Um, I think it's a very roomy straight fit, to be honest. I don't know what you think. I'm not used to <laughs> um, such wide-legged pants because I don't have a great physique in terms of um, my hamstrings and my quads. So I feel that I'm swimming in these. Now, uh, they, these are made from dead stock selvage denim from Cone Mills in the USA. Uh, I have tailored them. I've taken, um, I think it was about three inches off the 36 inch inseam because I wanted, because they were, they're, they're um, uh, wide fitting, I wanted them to fit over high heel boots like cowboy boots, engineers and so on. Uh, without, you know, every time getting caught on the shaft. I have had to cuff these on my RM Williams boots that I'm wearing these with, and I really don't think these are suitable for these kinds of boots because you, your feet, certainly when I'm looking down, your feet kind of disappear within the folds of the cuff, <laughs> which I am not used to. And if you watch my videos, you know that, uh, you know, I, I don't really cuff my jeans. But I thought I'd try these with my longer shaft boots, my ropers and uh, engineers and uh, um, cowboy boots and so on. So let's get into that and you tell me what you think. So the first pairing that I'm trying with the 1968 jean from Gustin are these engineer boots from Cordobes, Mexican brand, uh, Mexican oil tanned leather, which I quite like. My, my very first engineer boots uh, which you can see from the video in the uh, showing, hopefully the link will show in the top corner. Uh, first engineer boots, first selvage denim, appropriate I think. I feel I have to cuff these um, because they have a flat heel and if I didn't cuff them they'd just puddle uh, uh, at the bottom of my, of my legs. I don't know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure I like this look. Uh, the reason I got these jeans because I thought, well, I really want a pair of jeans that goes over the shaft of boots like these. And, you know, when you sit down and get up, they don't sort of get caught in the top of the shaft. 
uh, and I find to do that you need a longer inseam and a slightly wider leg, although I'm not sure these so-called straight fits are not too wide for me. Tell me what you think. We'll go on to the next look. The second pair of boots I'm trying with the 1968 jean are these cowboy boots, proper straightforward cowboy boots, uh, from Chisos. These are the number one uh, cowboy boots from Chisos in their black, I can't remember what it's called, but it's their black leather. I decided not to cuff these jeans and I think that works better for me. I, I'm, you know, to be honest, I'm not sure cowboys cuff their jeans. I mean, you probably, if you walked around in cuff jeans and cowboy boots, I think the real cowboys would probably beat you up. <laughs> uh, um, I, I've allowed, it is slightly long, but I've allowed it to puddle at the break because I think this works because of the uh, high cowboy heel. So tell me what you think. Do you like this look? And this is the third boot that I'm trying with the uh, 1968 straight leg jeans. Uh, again, I've decided not to cuff it because, again, these are roper boots, so more allied to the cowboy tradition. And again, I don't want to get beaten up by real cowboys. <laughs> um, I, I think I like the way this puddles at my ankles, uh, the brake, even though as a roper boot, it has a lower uh, heel. It certainly fits over the shaft, these jeans, and they certainly drop when I get up. And I, I feel a little more comfortable wearing these boots with these jeans. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind that, that uh, puddly breakdown there at all. So we go on to uh, the next pair of boots and see what they look like. This is the next pair that I'm trying these 1968 jeans with. Uh, these are from Fortis Boots. It's a collaboration with my friend John the Happiness Carpenter on YouTube. Uh, they're lace to toe, I guess you call them work boots. They're lace to toe boots with a logger heel. I'm comfortable with these, again, because they have a taller shaft and so it doesn't get caught in the shaft, even though I have misgivings about the width of these, uh, of these legs. I think they work because of the uh, higher heel. And even if they puddle at the bottom, that seems to work. Now I'll just do a shot um, by the magic of video with the cuffs on and we'll see what you think. Snap, there you go, uh, a single cuff. I really, I'm not fond of this look. <laughs> I just feel very uncomfortable in cuffs. Um, but you know, I've seen others carry it really well. Uh, people like Jake at uh, Almost Vintage Future uh, would wear uh, pants as, as wide as these, except I think he would get into these and call them very tightly slim. <laughs> uh, he wears cuffs really well. I just, it just doesn't go with me. Okay, so moving on. This next pair of boots I'm putting on with a bit of tongue in my cheek. I see a lot of people wearing chunky work boots like Iron Rangers really well with uh, wide-legged cuffed jeans. I am being cheeky because I wanted to show you this to show you that I do not. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Let's move on. This is my second pair. Uh, this is what they call their Okayama Standard Jean. And it's made from Japanese salvage denim, 14.5 ounce uh, salvage denim. So it's, it's, it's not thin. Now these are um, what they call slim. and I don't have particularly muscular legs, so I'm not entirely sure that I would call these slim, uh, but they're certainly uh, not as roomy as that first pair, which was um, their straight uh, cut. Now, I have tailored them, and as you can see, I'm still wearing them with my RM Williams. I've tailored them to the right length where they have a slight break at the top of the boot, which is the way I like to wear my jeans, and particularly in this sort of um, straight leg, uh, slim, slimmer sort of fit. Uh, and as you can see, the fit is really actually quite good. I do like um, the, the fit of this around my hips. And um, I've decided that I think these go with uh, less bulbous type uh, uh, boots. And certainly, um, I think they'd go for the lower shaft, you know, six inch, eight inch type 
boots. So let's take a look with those boots on. Now I feel much more comfortable wearing these slimmer jeans. I wouldn't call them slim at all. Um, I, these slimmer jeans I think really work with my favorite boots, which are service boots. And in this case, the favorite of favorites, uh, my white's MP boot. And again, cut to the inseam length where it just about breaks at the instep. I think these um, suit me very well and the fit down the thighs, uh, they don't swim, but they're not exactly squeezing my ghoulies either. So um, I quite like this fit. I like this look. And it goes reasonably well with that round military style toe, but I'll show you the next boot, which is slimmer, and I think works really well with that too. This is uh, clearly also a service boot, but this one is Parkhurst's Stitch Down Allen boot uh, in Horween's brown wax flesh. Now the difference with the White's MP, I hope you can tell from these angles, is that it has a much sleeker toe box, much dressier, despite the sort of rough, uh, rough and tough leathers that uh, Andrew Savisco uses on, on these boots. Look, I think they go fine as well. They don't have to be a chunky boot. The jeans are slim enough, yet relaxed enough to go along with this kind of uh, service boot look. And um, I'd, I'd even go further and say, I think they'd go even, uh, they'd also go with even more dressy lasts. And so let's go and take a look at an RM Williams Comfort Craftsman. Yes, I know you already saw me in a pair of RM Williams at the beginning, but that was their round toe uh, Goodwood boot. This is their Comfort Craftsman. This one is in tobacco suede from Charles F. Stead. Uh, and, and the last is a lot sleeker. You can see it's a chisel toe, but quite a long nose to it. So it actually looks quite sleek. And, you know, again, uh, you don't have to have really skin tight jeans to work with pointy-toed uh, pointy shoes like these. These comfortably slim jeans work really well uh, with them as well. And, and I think the coloring before they fade goes really nicely with that tobacco color. What do you think? These go all right? So I have one more look for you. Uh, and this time, I think these jeans I'd like to show you can also go well with chunkier style boots. And these are chunky boots. They are very tall in the toe box. They're very chunky when looking straight down. They're a hefty boot. Grant Stone's field boot in Badalassi Carlo's saddle tan. And as you can see, you know, um, perfectly acceptable wearing it with, with a slim pair of jeans, uh, particularly these um, in the salvage denim. Uh, it's, it's stiff, goes with the boot, as being quite a sturdy sort of boot with a great fit down uh, the line of the leg. Yeah, uh, absolutely perfect for these kinds of things. This jean, I have to say, is much more my style. So that's it, what do you think? Uh, I wouldn't mind getting your comments because I am new to, to salvage denim. Now to me, these Gustin jeans are actually a perfect introduction because they're quite accessible. They're a, they're a fairly reasonable price uh, when you look at other selvage denim, particularly Japanese selvage denim, and how expensive they are. Um, look, I, I think they're understandable in, in, in terms of uh, people who are not into uh, selvage denim, uh, in terms of uh, the fits that they, they, that they will give you. And from what I can see, they, as I said, they're an amazing price. So let me know what you think. Don't forget to click on like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next videos. Take care.